Nolagen here at Ernie's Cafe. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our USA Travel Vlog, we are heading to the Greater New Orleans area of the West Bank, to Marrero, to visit Ernie's Cafe that has some good stuff in here. Join us on a travel search for the best burger options in the New Orleans area. Ernie's Cafe is located in Marrero at 5201 4th Street, which is about 14 minutes and 9 miles away from the French Quarter. The West Bank is actually east of New Orleans, but located on the West Bank of the Mississippi River. I actually used to work near this area, but I never knew about Ernie's Cafe. There are some great restaurants in this area, and I'm always happy to find spots like Ernie's that are new to me to enjoy. More of the great food in this area. Another bonus of many restaurants on the West Bank is that often they are more affordable than what you find inside the city limits of New Orleans. New Orleans has a lot of great food, and that also includes some of the best burgers I've ever eaten anywhere. So I usually don't have to travel too far for the best burger options that I already know about, but I'm always looking for a new favorite. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. And it looks like there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Ooh, it's a pretty uh, simple, uh, long shotgun style seating arrangement. So this is a pretty traditional New Orleans looking restaurant so far. I have eaten at many of the restaurants in this area, but somehow, all of these years, I've missed Ernie's Cafe and never knew it existed until today. I'm here eating with my friend Jeremy from Nola Boils, who brought me out here, and he's the one that told me about this restaurant. So, thanks to Jeremy for enlightening me about this place. This is such a great little spot. It looks like it's gonna have some really great food in here. It filled up fast after we arrived. It seems to be a really popular lunch spot in the area. This place is owned and operated by a husband and wife team that really are a bunch of great folks and they really are fantastic people that put out a lot of hospitality and good food in here. And they also do catering. So, definitely great people to know. They also have a nice little bar in here, or actually it's a pretty long bar, so that's always a great addition to know about in a place like this. So, they offer a lot of good options in here, so this is pretty much a traditional New Orleans eating experience in here. You've got your bar, you've got your tables, kind of a long shotgun design. And they've got some drinks, so some self-serve refills, and the chalkboard that lists the specials. And they also have their new hours listed. We are still currently in the pandemic situation, so hours are changing fast, so it's good to update all of that. And also they have a boiled crawfish special listed. It's great to be in crawfish season. Let's check out this menu now. So we start off with appetizers. They have fried okra, fried onion rings, fried pickles, crawfish bites, southwest egg rolls, cheese fries, chicken wings. And we have soups, chicken and sausage gumbo, corn and crab soup, baked potato soup, broccoli and cheese soup. Then our sides are fries, potato salad, sweet potato fries. We have some salads, we have a kid's menu. And they have their sandwich selection with fries at $2, sweet potato fries at $3. Dressed with a choice of lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, mustard, ketchup, and hot sauce. You can add cheese for 50 cents, American or Swiss. You get a choice of a bun, a wrap, a toast, a four inch po' boy, or an eight inch po' boy. They have fried shrimp, fried fish, hamburger, roast beef, club, hot sausage, chicken tender, ham and cheese, turkey, chicken salad, tuna salad, french fry with gravy, Meatball on Tuesday only, muffalata, and black and fish with crawfish sauce. And they have daily plate specials with choice of two. Fries, potato salad, mashed potatoes, side salad, veggie, sweet potato fries, fried grilled trumper fish, fried chicken tenders, hamburger steak, black and fish with crawfish sauce, one side. And the daily specials are Mondays, red beans and rice with sausage, or pork chop and cornbread. Tuesdays, meatballs and spaghetti. Villard Chicken Parmesan and Spaghetti. Wednesday is Pot Roast with Mashed Potatoes. Thursday, Stewed Chicken, Rice and Corn. Friday, Crawfish Pasta with Fried Fish, Substitute Shrimp. And specials are subject to change. 
So we decided to start our meal out with an order of these great onion rings. Ooh, they look fantastic. They're fried perfectly, and they have a really nice uh, sauce that comes with it. So I believe this is a delicious comeback sauce. It's got a little spicy kick to it. So I really like it. So let's see if this one is good as ones I've had in the past. And oh yes, there's a little great delicious spicy kick to this comeback sauce. I do like it. So I will definitely be eating quite a good portion of this sauce with the onion rings. And hey, if you love a good onion ring like I do, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you think about the video so far. So, Nola Boyle's Jeremy got the smothered chicken lunch special today. It looks fantastic. And I, of course, got the burger. And I really want to try their pot roast on Wednesday, too, as I love a good pot roast. Let's try this burger and see what happens. Mmm. It does smell great. It's got a nice piece of thick meat on here. Ah, looks nice, so let's go to taste, and uh, it is cooked with a lot of juiciness. So, they put a lot of juicy love in here, so it's got a nice flavor to it. Bun is maintaining and holding in the structural integrity, which is so important. So a lot of times when all the lettuce and tomato and everything else on there gets involved, a lot of things start slipping and sliding and falling apart, but this bun is definitely gripping in and holding all of those items inside quite nicely so this bun is not soggy it's holding together quite well so uh, it's uh, definitely doing its job well I might like a little more poopiness to the bread of the bun a little more uh, substantial bite with the bread it seems to be more of a traditional kind of hamburger bread so nothing overly special with bread um, I do like a little more of a uh, artisan style bread, I guess, which got a little more of that uh, whole grain goodness. As I like wheat bread over the white bread, I really prefer uh, a lot more of those artisanal style, traditional forms of bread and not the refined white flour breads. So I really like my bread to fight back a little bit and have more flavor and heft to it. So just a little more oomph. <laughs> Jeremy from Nola Boyles taking down some great, really good, great chicken here. Great smothered chicken right here. Oh yeah. Check it out. Good stuff in there. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. A little gravy. You know they made a little room with that. Good stuff. Mm. That chicken looked fantastic. I'm a little bit sad almost that I didn't get that to sample, but hey, I gotta try this burger out too for all of you out there, right? And this is a great burger, so I'm having a good time with this. And uh, it does have some nice meat. We've got the bun holding together, so it's got all the basic requirements that we need to rate a nice burger here. And uh, it is going down easy. We've got the great onion rings as our main little appetizer and as a side all in one so that's a uh, pretty darn good combo for the onion rings i would say it's having both an appetizer and your side all in one makes life all the more fun right mm, this burger's got a lot of good stuff in here it seems like the bun to meat ratio is holding up quite well also so that is a good check mark to have because so many of the burgers seem to run out of meat and still have a lot of bun left so it looks like they've done their work with somehow perfecting a good ratio of meat and bun. Wendy's would be proud of you. You can't say where's the beef on this one so far. So it is held together all the way to the very end, but no problem. So excellent structural integrity. We're not gonna lose structural cohesion. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon information because hey, I do work for tips and I really would appreciate it if you could help me out with that. And also, refer and share this video to any of your friends and contacts that would enjoy it. And thanks so much to Jeremy from Nola Boyles that paid for my lunch. And thanks so much to everybody at Ernie's Cafe for a fantastic meal and experience. And they're such nice people, you definitely should come in here and check it out and give them some business. 
And thanks to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially my Patreons that support this channel. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Gent channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.